Okay, when setting up a GPS locally, we also have to put the, the, the tracker in uh, high speed GPS mode. Uh, normally the, the tracker is in normal mode, so we have to switch between normal and high speed mode. How to achieve that is, now you can see I've already put on the tracker, it's uh, in just normal, normal mode. You press offline, the tracker goes in offline mode. Now to switch between the other mode, high speed mode, you have to press a key combination. The combination is calibrate and within 2 seconds offline. It will beep accordingly to the mode it is set. In this case it should beep twice because we go to high speed mode. Ok, I press calibration and offline within 2 seconds. You can hear two beeps. This means it is set up in high speed mode. This is very important because your driver, like I showed in the other video, is also set in high speed mode. This is very important. These two have to match. If not, the whole tracking system will not operate. This is very important. To save this mode, press offline. You're back in normal mode. You can also hear when turning on the tracker if it's in the right mode. Ok, I switched off the tracker, I turn it on now and listen carefully for the beeps when switching on. Ok, here it goes. You can hear two beeps. This means it is set up in high speed mode. This is very important to keep uh, track of this, because if this not, if it's going back in default mode, in some rare case, then the tracker will not operate. Ok, where a lot of folks, I think the, the issue what is happening right now at the moment is coming from is when you uh, reset the tracker before calibration, it also resets the mode uh, what you set, it goes back to normal mode. Well, as you can hear, we are in, in uh, in high speed mode now with the two beeps. When I reset the tracker, that's the calibration and north within two seconds, I perform now. The tracker is now reset. I go to normal mode, switch off the tracker. Ok, listen carefully when I switch on. One, two. You hear one beep. This means the tracker is reset and also the configuration is reset. So please keep track on this before you put a calibration. Do not reset the tracker because it loses uh, the configuration. The next time you switch on your uh, tracker it doesn't operate at all. That's, that's the main thing I, I, I guess where all problems are coming from. You can simply set it back again, press offline and calibration and offline within 2 seconds. Now it's back into high speed mode, press offline, I switch off the tracker, turn, turn it on and listen carefully, and it's back in GPS high speed mode. You can also turn it back manually, you go offline, press the calibration offline within 2 seconds, and you hear one beep, it's set in a normal mode. I go offline, turn it off, turn it on, at least carefully. One beep, it's normal mode. Ok, but we want to set it up in GPS high speed mode, so we go back to high, high speed mode. Calibration offline, two beeps, press offline to save the mode. And now it's operational in high speed mode. Ok, thank you for watching.